Some people struggle to go to different dates in Outlook. They might go forward a few days. They might move the calendar and select a date. However, I'm now gonna show you in effect three shortcuts in one. So if I want to go to a date in Outlook, I just press Control and G. Now I can click on the calendar to go to any particular date, and that's fine too. However, there is another option. Because this is highlighted in light blue, this is Microsoft telling me I can type in my command. And now I'm gonna show you a special feature called natural language. The date in the calendar is the 28th of January. So let me type in the word tomorrow and it goes to the next day. Let me type in the word today and it goes back. Let me type in next week and it goes to the 4th of February. Let me go back. Let's type in three weeks. It goes to the 18th of February. Let me type in three weeks. Yes, it goes back to the 18th of February. But what if I'm so lazy, I'm just writing three W. That will still go forward three weeks. Let me say I want to have four days in my calendar. It goes forward four days. Let's go to next month. Takes me forward a whole month. But what if I wanted to type in a date? I could type in the 28th of April and that's perfectly okay. However, the quicker way to type that in would be just a number 28, a space, the month of the year, and that will take me to the 28th of April. I could type in Control G, and I could type in three days before Christmas, and it will give me the 22nd of December. Now you've seen me going onto the ribbon and clicking the today button. I didn't need to do that. Even though I'm on the 22nd of December, I can just press control T and that will always take me back to today's date. Ladies and gentlemen, that's why I love Microsoft. I do hope you found this useful. If so, please share it with your friends and in the comments, let me know what type of things in the world of Microsoft you'd like me to help you with. And once again, thank you very much.